Hello, hello, happy Wednesday. Welcome to Stamping A to Z. Today is an exciting day. I've got some online exclusives, which is um, they're pre-ordering right now for demonstrators. Um, they are items that will be available for customers starting November 5th. We do have a starter kit special on for the month of October, so it ends October 31st where it is a super awesome deal. So our starter kit's norm normally $135, which it still is, but normally you would get $165 worth of product for the $135, but for this month, you get $206 worth of product for your $135. So that's a whole lot of free product. Plus on top of that, you get free shipping and no tax if you're in Alberta. Um, there's the extra taxes if you are in other provinces, but Overall, it's a super awesome deal. So if you've got a wish list item of over $135, <laughs> I mean, obviously you'll have to pick $200 worth of stuff, but that's not hard to do. Um, it's totally worth uh, looking into. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help if you are in Canada and you are looking for a demonstrator. Um, we also have our kits that are up to 30% off till the end of October. I do have a kit today to show you that I got. Um, it's one of the new ones and I just thought I'd show you. I also, I have not gotten to play with it yet, but I'm super excited about this month's paper pumpkin. It goes with the, uh, what's it called? Winter, winterly treetops. Um, the whole suite that's in the mini catalog, the birds, and the woods kind of stuff it um, it's an awesome it it has matching um, stamps like the sentiments match the style of the ones from the stamp set in the catalog um, so you can really grow that sweet if you have the paper pumpkin anyways I was super excited and it has a super nice bird in the stamp set so yeah anyways I will show you I'll get you flipped around and so yeah, I've got online exclusive to show you, I have a kit to show you, and I have the paper pumpkin. So let's get turned around as I show you my nostrils. <laughs> okay. Try that, hopefully, I don't know, can you guys hear <laughs> what the dryer is going and it's right next to my room. So hopefully you don't hear that whir of the dryer, but let me know if it's interfering. I'm gonna try and turn this on so I can see comments. No, this isn't what I wanna see. Oh, I did forget to tell you. <laughs> if you're watching, let me know that you're watching. Let me know where you're watching from, if you're new to this page or to watching. Um, I'd love to hear from you. If you're watching the replay, let me know. Okay, why can we not? You can hear the dryer. Great. <laughs> well, maybe I'll have to do something about that. Is it annoyingly loud or is it okay? Hopefully it's okay. Oh, this is crooked. Uh, did I do that the right way? I don't know. Okay. Well, let's get... Oh, you can't hear. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought you meant you could hear it. It's like, no! Um, here's the host code for October if you are looking to purchase some items. Um, so this is, what is this called? A look back kit. Um, I'm always trying to journal, uh, scrapbook, whatever, which I'm not very good at, but I thought that this um, looked like something I could, so a friend of mine does jelly printing and she always does these cool, uh, junk journals? Anyways, I thought this might make a good junk journal, but it's so pretty. I don't think I could, um, I don't know. I bet Yolande, if you're watching, 
I'm sure you would have, but all the pages are different and there's 30 some pages. So I was trying to think how I could divide it up by months if I wanted to do a one year kind of like journal. I'm not sure, or I guess it could be a one month. Um, and then it comes with the adhesives and it comes with so much stuff, like so many different ephemeras cutouts, um, tags, decorative pieces. It's got a little, like an envelope, some more envelope type to put storage and then some more ephemera and some gold pieces, their stickers, I believe, and then the fun monsterilies and some alphabet letters, some more words. And then of course you've got all the different um, uh, languages. <laughs> so here's English, we have French. I noticed, I don't know if it's German. There was one of these that there was some of the words I thought, like, wow. Oh, no, that's not wow. Is that wow? That's wow. So, winter. So some of the non-English ones, you can still use the words, which is kind of cool. Um, it is, though, pretty vague. I mean, it's obvious what you can. So they do show you how to use the envelope pieces. Um, and they give you a few ideas, but obviously it doesn't complete the book. So you have to get creative. <laughs> Anyways, I thought that was cool. I thought I should show you. Because sometimes when you see them just in the online store, it's not very clear as to what you're getting or what things look like. So I thought I would... This is a kit, yeah. So this is, um, it is on sale till the end of October. Silly me, I didn't write down the price. I can't remember. But it really, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was, don't quote me on it, under 35 for sure. Maybe under 30, uh, might have been even under 30 with the sale. Um, anyways, go on the kits and check it out because um, it's a really cool one. So my paper pumpkin, so for those of you who get paper pumpkin and haven't gotten yet or haven't opened it yet and want the surprise, turn away for a minute. <laughs> my poor, every time we have a special box, my box comes smushed by FedEx. It's so sad. But anyways, it's what's inside that counts and that was all okay. So um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you the sweet first. So the sweet is the one that has this beautiful bird paper and it has, ooh, sorry, um, like some woodsy, just, woods pieces and some nice pool part. Like it's just the prettiest paper. Um, and you can cut out some of these birds using the dies. And then it, it had the Winterly Treetops um, stamp set. But you can see how it doesn't really have Christmas per se. Now, if you have the paper pumpkin, now, uh, can you see that? Let's try and get something dark. Mm -hmm. Where's something dark? Here, can you see that? Um, so it has happy holidays, Merry Christmas, um, joyful thoughts to you this season. And then it has this super pretty, is it a cardinal? The one with the peak? Um, anyways, super pretty um, stamp set. And it does match the sentiments that are in here. So if you wanted to stamp something on the inside, and on the outside, you can mix and match the two. So that's the stamp set from that suite and the paper pumpkin. It comes with a shaded spruce um, ink 
and then it has ribbon pieces and dimensionals and it has some super cool um, cards so it's got beautiful envelopes that have the nice foiling they're plain on the inside but then it has all the birds that you can use and punch out and then it's got these window pieces that you can see here but you could punch these out and use these as family picture um, cards to send if you wanted to put your family picture behind there um, so there's I think four of those one two oh no five five one two three four five five of those and then so these are like um, fancy kind of fold cards there's three pieces to them so if you did use it for a photo you could use this for a whole other card and then this one I don't know if you can see it comes out and then there's a frame which is what it looks like here and then you've got the labels which have the, the foiling again which I think is shaded spruce foiling so again another five so this one makes ten cards which normally it's nine or eight or nine I guess but anyways there's there's five and five so hopefully there's refills that can be purchased if you are um, not a subscriber you cannot purchase the refills but you can subscribe for next month and have access to you just um, you wouldn't get the stamp set like unless they have the action sometimes they have kits the pumpkins the full paper pumpkin available sometimes it's only refills if it's refills they don't give you any of these pieces it's just the paper pieces um it is cheaper but you need to be a current subscriber to get your hands on those okay so i can't wait to oh and then the rest of the oh Oh, 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 there's a new um, set of dies for the paper pump in the next three months of paper pumpkin. So that would be October, November, December. I can open it. So there's always one die per paper pumpkin per month, and it goes in three months. This is called Mary Tags and More Dies. So there's a, a tag, a Mary, and a leaf. So for this one, I think it is maybe the tag that goes with it. Usually it says, I did not pay attention. Um, it doesn't say, oh, I've got these magpies that keep trying to break into my soffit and it's right at the top of my head. I'll have to watch some videos and see. Um, I'm, you can use any of it, obviously. You could probably even use... Does that go with the stamp set? No, not quite. But it would match. So maybe it's this one or maybe it's Mary. I don't know. You could use any of them, really. They're all usable for this. Sometimes there's one that actually cuts out the stamp. I think there's only been one. And then usually there's one that goes with. So I'm going to put that in there. And that is the paper pumpkin. So on to the online exclusives. I have three cards that I'm going to be making today as usual. Um, should I? I'm going to show you the items that I'm not using that I have. And then there's um, some bundles that I am using. So the one bundle that I'm not using, but I, I'm using a piece of it. Let me just find the dies for it. Okay. So the Hearts of Elegance. I'm not sure what the actual, what's the sweet called? Marbled Elegance, sorry. Has, it's kind of a Valentine. So we're already heading into Valentine's. We're skipping right over Christmas. Um, so the stamp set is very much Valentine's Day-ish. But the whole fun of this bundle is the hearts. They are massive. I did not realize. Um, at first I wasn't gonna get it because I thought oh, I already have lots of hearts, but they're always little hearts. 
And then I saw someone using them and I was like, oh, those are big hearts. So again, it's always nice to see them before you go to buy things because you can't tell. And I really like this one. It leaves a nice stitched uh, inlay in your heart and it cuts out, you know, the little flower, the leaves and the, the other heart, but you can do so much with these hearts. So I'm using this in one of my cards, but not the rest of the suite. So it has the um, stamp set. It has this gold twisted thread. It has, uh, sorry, I'm using it also. Uh, it has these um, adhesive backed heart sequins. So there's three different sizes of those. I'm gonna set those over there so I can find them when I go to use them. And then it has this beautiful marbled uh, gold foil uh, paper. So it's um, cherry cobbler and um, melon mambo, I believe. Really pretty calypso coral is mixed in there, which is really pretty. I just love having the gold uh, foil throughout there. Even the back sides of the paper are fun. And then there's this, oh, that one's pretty. And then you've got the little flowers on the back. So that's the paper that goes with the sweet. So that's all for that sweet. There's another sweet that is called, excuse me, Otterly Adorable. Um, I'm going to be using that one, so you'll see that in a in a bit. Um, there's this standalone, which I didn't end up using for my cards this week, but I will for sure use it. It's the Modern Herringbone 3D Embossing Folder. Um, I just realized you could almost use it as a tire track if you're making like a masculine card or something. I don't know. I don't know what you would do. But yeah, it's also a herringbone. So there's a 3D embossing folder. That is standalone. That's in the online exclusives. And there's a bunch of bundles, um, which I don't have because obviously I can't get everything, even though I had told myself that Oh, no worries. I'm not going to want anything from the online exclusives. I'm all good. And well, they came out and it's like, oh my goodness, this is all so cute. Um, okay, I'll start with the Otterly Adorable. And that way you can see the sweet and everything while we're at it. So, let me move all this stuff here out of the way. Okay, so we have, um, it is a suite, so we've got the stamp set. You don't have to purchase it as a suite. You can get just the bundle, you can get just paper. Um, I would highly suggest getting the paper because it is so super cute. Um, these otters are super cute also, but the dies are actually awesome in here there's so many of them they cut out all your um otters in the stamp set they have fish it has um some plants it's got the cutest little log this i thought was to make a river but then i realized what it's actually for um it's so that when you cut and i didn't do it in my card i should have to show you because but i didn't realize it till after i made my card um Actually, I probably could. It cuts slits in your card stock and you can slide your little otter in behind. So like part of him is in the water kind of thing. And the DSP has some really nice water piece. So um, there's rock pieces. There's, I mean, there's everything in here that you could possibly want for these cards and more. So the dies, if anything, are awesome. Oops, turn 
know if I need that. I'll just set that aside. And then the cardstock is awesome again too because you can cut, uh, I think I took all the pieces. But so all of these you can fussy cut if you really wanted to. Or it's got like the, you could cut your rocks out of this and make it look like rocks. You've got the beautiful paper with the water background. You've got more, like you can do scenes. Oops. And then you've got the fish. And then you've got more of these otters. Or you can have some background. You've got these full scene, 12 by 12. You can cut it up and still have scenes, right? Like if you look at it, you can basically do um, six backgrounds for um, for cards or else you could use it for scrapbooking. And the back side of this one is like pebbly, which is kind of cool. Okay, so this is the one that you can cut out, which I'm using. Um, these two guys cuddling. It's the same as the stamp stamp set. Where's the stamp set? So it's the same as this, only it's all pre-colored and done for you, which makes it easy. And it cuts um, the die fits, which I will show you in a minute. Um, these otters, a lot of them can be cut out using the dies as well. You're cute little. So, I mean, you can stamp it and color it yourself, or if you're in a hurry, you can, um, Cut these ones out and use those and here's the one that I already showed you so that's some really fun paper so that's what I was saying if you only get the paper you could make some really fun cards and just add a sentiment out of it but the dies are really fun too so I didn't actually I bought the paper but I didn't buy this bundle because my mother-in-law Linda who's watching um bought it so I'm borrowing it but it's really tempting to get just for the dies. But anyways, I have to resist. Okay. Oh, the other parts of the suite. There's this beautiful um, Lost Lagoon cord. It's kind of like shiny, shimmery, soft. And then there's these Riverside Irregular Pearls. And there's three colors to it is kind of cool so you've got like the lost lagoon pretty peacock kind of color you've got more of a gray and then you've got the white pearl color i don't know if you can see that <laughs> yeah you'll you'll know it, it's all like pre-used for you <laughs> but anyways this um so I've got a bunch of pieces cut, but I also wanted to show um, Oh, I should have hang on one sec. Let me grab the die here. Let me make sure I have I don't wanna I'm gonna go way over time if I start die cutting everything. So oh I was just gonna show you. So this is a piece of the designer series paper that I just kind of roughly cut. You can fussy cut it, but you, you know, it would be a lot to fussy cut around. Well, not that much, but you know me, I don't love fussy cutting. Um, um, it fits perfectly to die cut these guys. So run that through your stamp cut and embosh machine, and then you've got a nicely cut cute little otters okay i'm not used to having dyes on these sticky mats anymore i put them on magnets and it's so much easier all right so we've got our little otters and then i've got a piece of lost lagoon and i cut it and in half at four and a quarter and then i'm going to score it I'm doing a fancy fold. I don't often do fancy folds, but it's not very fancy. It's just a Z fold card, but I just, I really wanted to use the beautiful designer series paper. And so I decided to do a Z fold. So I'm scoring it at five and a half, which is halfway. 
And I'm also going to score it at, so half of five and a half would be two and a quarter, correct? Yes. So I'm gonna score it at two and a quarter. So then, uh, nope, that's not right. Two and three quarters, dum-dum. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Brain's not working. Does that look better? No. What am I doing wrong? Two and a half and two and a half is five. And then plus a quarter each should be two and three quarters. Did I not just do two and three quarters? That's two and three quarters. Maybe it just looks wrong. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's okay, because I'm gonna cover it um, with paper anyways. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh my goodness. Brain's not working today. Wow. Math is supposed to be my strong suit. Okay, so we've got our basic Z fold, right? Because when you look at it, it looks like a Z. And then I've got a piece of the designer series paper and I'm gonna use it here as water. So this is where you could use this and pre-cut your piece. And then you could slide, I mean, obviously these guys are on grass, so you wouldn't put them in water, but you could put them in the grass or you could put them, um, if you use one of the other otters, you could slide him in and it looks like he's popping out of the water. So that's super cool. Um, and then I've got this piece, which I'm going to put here. So let's just put those on. So the, oops, <laughs> it helps to take the cover off. Boy, I'm not, uh, you would think I was living on no sleep or something, which I guess I'm not sleeping as well as I normally do. I'm still got this back and leg thing going on. So it's not always comfortable to sleep, but I'm trying. Okay, so we've got our water and we've got our, I, I call this algae to me, it, but it can just be nice plant um, backgrounds. And then I've got a piece for my inside, but I'm gonna wait to put that on until I put this top piece on so I know exactly where it needs to go. Now for my white piece on the front, I'm going to add some blending of the old olive so that it kind of brings in the ground um, for these otters. And I'm just gonna come in and make it grassy. much or as little and if you're ever wondering what colors will go if you're using designer series paper like I've said before they always list all the colors on the back of the paper so in this case I just looked up what colors were being used and that's how I kind of came up with my that's the easiest way to come up with a matching color combo if you're using those colors. So I've got my green and then I'm gonna put that onto my pretty peacock piece. So I went an inch smaller all around. Um, so this, instead of four and a quarter by five and a half, this is three and a quarter by four and a half. And then this is a quarter inch smaller than that. Okay, and then what I did to add these pieces on is I like to stick them onto the back directly and then I'm gonna pop everything up. So these are kind of floating. Yeah. So I'm gonna start with my um, green pieces here. I don't know if I put the, oh, I did. Wasn't sure if my glue was high enough to get 
that on there. Okay, and then this is going to be too long, obviously, if I go the full height. So let's kind of measure here. It's still a little tall. It's okay if it goes over because it's not going to. Um, it's not the end of the card. And then what you'll want to do is you can see it coming out the bottom there. So just snip it off so you can't see it. And then it's hidden. And then you can come in and take um, your dimensionals and it's just kind of going to help stick Hold those down even more. Oh, I almost put it on the. <laughs> My brain really isn't working today. Um, do you guys, I hope you use your surround dimensional pieces because, you know, oh, I forgot. Probably because I didn't pre cut one. On my original, I actually cut an extra piece of white cardstock that I put on behind because designer series paper is fairly um, loosey goosey, and so just to give it a bit more strength, so if it didn't get bent in the mail or something, um, I added that piece onto there. But this one I didn't, so you'll get to see the difference. Got our dimensionals, and we'll just add this guy's here. Okay, I thought about putting a log for these guys, but I, with the grass, it just didn't seem to quite cut it. So I actually took inspiration for this. There is a, I think it's a box as one of the examples in the online exclusive. So when you get access to those. Um, or if you already have, like, Linda, write a program. Oh, I totally missed what you wrote. Write a program for what? Oh, <laughs> for my uh, measurements? Is that what you're saying? I need a program to figure out my measurements? Um, okay, rather than take the time to do this also. So this is a half inch, a quarter of an inch? three-eighths of an inch <laughs> just I always take scraps whatever I have of ends of paper um, this was kind of the perfect size of uh, for we're cute together I stamped it with Versamark and did white embossing powder and through the magic of television we've got one <laughs> got one done all right and then I just cut this you could do straight you could do um ribbon the arrow cut i don't know what you i'm just going to go straight on one side angled on the other and since i'm going to be putting it up against their tails i'm just going to put two smaller dimensionals on either end of the sentiment You could even use like the copper embossing powder too, probably if you wanted something shiny um, with the color of the spotters, it would probably look, and then, oops, I forgot. I usually add just a bit of glue here so it sticks to those guys. And it's not just the two little dimensionals holding it together. Isn't that cute? We're cute together. I did, oops, that's totally crooked. Um, shoot. Um, what was I going to say? Now I've bent it. Um, I was going to cut, you could cut, if it's not like about you and somebody else, I mean, it still doesn't have to be, but I thought maybe just use cute together if it's for like a couple or something. I don't know. Um, but 
but before I stick it down, I'm going to add some of that really pretty cord. Now, I tied it the hard way on here, but you could put a hole, which makes it a whole lot easier to do, but I don't have my punch out. So we're gonna do it the hard way again. So I'm gonna take what I like to do to make it a little easier is I like to take my tear and tape and this is probably more than, you could tie a bow first to figure out how much you need. I'm gonna eyeball it and I'm gonna want it right about there. So I'm gonna stick my cord down with my tear and tape and that way it is easier that part's not slipping and sliding all over when you're trying to tie it down you could tie two knots but I feel like um, this cord is really slippery so two knots would help but I also feel like it would get too thick so if you have a buddy to hold your knot down, that would help. Or I need to train, I need to train Aspen to put her paw. I don't think that would work very good, but okay. So you can see that's loose, but guess what? There's a way to fix that. So where there's a will, there's a way. There's always a way to fix it. Okay, so if you want to tighten this up, what you can do is take another piece of tape. So probably for the first bit, you could just put a piece of tape in the middle and that way when you end up having extra, then you can tape after that. But see, now it's nice and tight and I'm just gonna kind of bring it under this and under the, under the this. <laughs> okay, so we've got our little bow. You can see it's like satiny, slippery, so it, it is a bit harder to tie. So you gotta come up with sneaky ways to make it easier. But it all works well. Oh well, his his one finger I think would be even hard to get. <laughs> his fingers are pretty big. That's why I thought a paw would be pretty hard to use. But it's better than nothing, right? Okay, so then I'm gonna use my ends here. I'm gonna put one here. And I want this obviously not to go past half. So what you can do if you um, are not sure where that's gonna end up, I'm gonna go, so I just want it, you can kind of line it up like this so you know where it is. And then just stick this on the edge here. So you've got one on the far end and one on this end. And if you want to put something in the middle, you can just to keep it up, just put two little ones in the middle. And I'm gonna leave the back of the tear and tape on because I don't want it to get pushed down and then it would stick and then it would be like bumpy and all over. So then I'm going to take this off. Then let's move this. It's easier to line up. I'm going to make this stand so it's easier to see over top. That looks about straight. And voila. So then I can take my inner piece. Whoops, I forgot to stamp it first. Um, oh shoot. I oh, I'll have to use a 
So what you can do is you can put your cardstock kind of centered like so. So you know it's going to be hidden and then drop it down and hope that it's pretty centered. I shouldn't have pushed it down before I kind of measured it, but anyways, close enough. Close enough. So since I forgot to stamp it, I'm going to take a sticky note and I'm gonna put it here because I want to stamp something that's gonna come off of there. I'm gonna stamp my cute little otter Like so, Oops, missed his shoulder. And then we'll just go like so. And that way I'm not getting the rest of my card dirty. And it's just on the white piece. And then I'm gonna take my here utterly amazing and stamp that on the inside. And voila, you've got your utterly amazing card. So that is card number one. Oh, I forgot. I always forget. I forgot the, here, yeah, I'll show you this one. I forgot my, my pearls. So I used the Lost Lagoon where I was closer and darker. And then where the white was, I used a white one. So you can embellishment, um, embellishment, embellish it as much or as little as you'd like. All right, this next one is another fun one. It is called, what is it called? I didn't remember which it is called. Oh, if I drop everything. Um, it is called Umbrella Days. And it's got, again, some really cute dyes. They're really stepping up their game, I find, with the dyes. It's not just um, cut out the stamped images, which is nice. But there's always, like, those extras. The only thing I wish, I'm still hoping for, <laughs> is dyes that match and cut out the sentiments. That, of course, I would make the dye pack that much more expensive, but... I don't know, maybe they could separate it and give options, but, or maybe I should just not be lazy and fussy cut. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the bundle, um, or you can buy just the stamps or just the dies. It again has some really cute, it's got the grass piece. Um, it's got, you can piece apart the umbrella. Um, it cuts out the, the pictures it's got clouds I think these could be clouds but I'm pretty sure they're bushes but maybe they're clouds too maybe oh this is puddles oh, these are clouds these are puddles I didn't even think about that when I was making my heart see as you go you kind of discover things and then there's I just noticed this piece this must be, is it like, hmm, any answers? You've got boots, you've got rain boots. Does this actually cut out? Oh, it actually cuts out the boots of the stamped image. So you can cut out the little pieces and parts and add the boots. So I'm wondering if this is like a raincoat, but it doesn't look. You think it's a raincoat for the dog? That would be cool. I'll have to cut it out and see. It looks like a coat of some sort. I think it might be. How would it fit? Now I'm like super, oh, 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 no way. It's gotta be. It's got to be a coat for the dog. Oh, so, yeah, those are his little legs. So those are his legs there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so your puppy. So part of my, um, part of my, 
full uh, want for this set. You're gonna laugh at me. Is the dog? I love the cute little dog in this. It just makes it that much more cute. And once you see my card, I hope you'll agree. So, and then I said I was gonna use, so I'm using the heart with this one, but in a very simple way. I started making this fancy heart box thing, and I was like, nope, I want it simple as can be. So I've got some grass cut. I've already pre-cut um, my heart. I've got two hearts are cut. So it just makes it that little bit um, thicker. I don't have to pop it up on dimensionals. I could, but I could also just pop it up. I'm going to show you. I think I've done it here. Um, oh wait, and then I've got Berry Burst. Well, now I feel like I need to cut the doggy a coat. I'm surprised they don't have a stamp to match the coat, but that totally makes sense now. That makes me love it even more because I can dress up my dog with a raincoat. Okay, um, so then what I did is I'm going to put the grass on the bottom here. I'm just going to take one of these. And we're going to put some glue here. If I can find my glue. Actually, no, I'm not going to put my glue. I'm going to, I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals. So I'm not going to glue it down. But what I am going to do is I'm going to try and get it straight. So I'm going to use my grid. And I'm going to hold it like so together. And flip it around. And then I'm just going to draw But what you essentially want to do is cut it. I'm going to start by cutting kind of freehand and then if I need to trim it after the fact, I will. But for now, I'm going to see if that works. Perfect. Okay. So that's going to be my grass, and I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals. Oops. I don't need that one. They just all want to come at once. And we'll use a little one here, and a little one there. Okay. And then we've got... Um, stamp our, I'm saying it's a girl, it can be a boy, and my dog here. So, and if I had paid more attention and noticed that, I thought they were just rain boots that were meant to kind of sit off to the side, but now I'm realizing that it's all works together. I should have known better. <laughs> okay, so once you stamp it in Memento, you can color it. You could stamp it on colored paper, but I think you want multiple colors, especially on this one with the umbrella. So I'm not gonna take the time to color because um, you guys know how to color and this isn't a coloring, how to color. Um, so here's my colored and cut um, girl. I used berry burst, uh, pecan pie, and peach pie. We're going with the pies. And then I seem to have lost. Oh, here he is. And we've got my puppy. He's colored in crumb cake and has a berry burst collar. And I could imagine that he would have a berry burst. Or maybe I'd go with blue or orange. I don't know for the coat. I have a piece of designer series paper. It is retired. It's from, oh, did I write down what it was? I don't think I did. Uh, but I did get, um, oh, this is the Bright and Beautiful DSP is where it's from, which is retired. 
you could totally, I realized after the fact, but I had already done this one. Um, if you could use the marbled designer series paper from the heart suite and have that gold marbling in the background. So you could use like the, what did I say? There was uh, melon mambo and calypso coral. So you could go more along those colors and you could use the marbled and do this exact same thing and it would look stunning, I think. So I might have to try that. Um, and see, cause I think it would be amazing. So this is berry burst on berry burst, but I found that it was just too stark with the white and that it just kind of needed to be broken up a little bit. So I've got those now. Um, Instead of adding dimensionals to this, I decided to do some extra die cuts and add dimension that way. So I'm just gonna, actually, I'm gonna put my two hearts together. So it's easier before there's some dimensions on here. I shouldn't do that on my cardstock as I <laughs> could have a, glue accident and then we'll put our grass on okay so this could be flat or on dimensionals but what I did was I cut out some extra um, pieces of die cuts and I'm just going to glue them all together so I've got three layers although make sure you pop out the arm piece there before it gets glued down by mistake you've got popped up it's not quite as thick as it's probably about half the thickness of a dimensional I would say oops and the nice thing with using the glue is you've got time to kind of position it and make sure you're happy with the way it's sitting so now you can see um, it sits nicely oh maybe I should have I should have measured that out before I did my grass. Um, same thing with the dog again. I've got two extra pieces here. I'm just gonna stick them all together. And it just gives it that little bit of added dimension. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment directly onto the heart. So if you are not, um, it's better to stamp the sentiment first. You could always add like a label on top if it doesn't work out. But if you had left these pieces all off and done the stamping first, um, then if you made a mistake, you could use the other heart and glue it the other way. Um, but this also allows you to see how much room you have and where you want to put it. I'm going to stamp the Be Brave. So I'm just making sure that I've got a good amount of ink. And then I've got my Be Brave. And then I just put it all together and add some hearts to get the finished. This one I used the You Are the Umbrella to my rainy days, but I thought, you know, it's nice to have different ones. So I stamped it differently, but this one fits really well in that space also. So that is the cute Umbrella Days bundle with the hearts from the Heart Suite. 
And last but not least is my wow card and my favorite, um, I don't know, well, I don't know about favorite, but it's my um, Hawaii reminder of the tropical Hawaii that I miss so much. Um, it's been a while. Actually, when did, the last time we were there was right before COVID. Nope, we've gone since. Never mind. Um, but just the two of us. All right. Anyways, they came out with the bundle called, I can find it. So you're going to laugh. I pulled out a bunch of my tropical, I keep all my Hawaii type <laughs> tropical stuff because I love the ocean and all that stuff. Um, it's called Happy Hibiscus and it's got a die set uh, bundle and it's got the matching hybrid embossing folder. So for those of you that don't know, the hybrid embossing folder allows you to cut and emboss at the same time. So you can see I still have my die sitting in here. Um, this is the die that goes with I kind of wish they would have done a fourth one, but anyways, and even the little ones. But they did three, so it cuts out the three while embossing. So I will show you that. And you could also stamp. I did not use the stamps. I um, actually used my blender brushes to color them. And it's also got these other dies as well. So it's got a couple of sentiment uh, kind of labely things and then it's got the leaves and flowers that you can cut out as well. So for my Hawaiian card, I have already pre-stamped, um, hang on, sorry, I'm just going to move one sec, I've got to move. <laughs> I've got to move all this other stuff out of the way. I'm, I don't have enough room. I thought I had a big desk, but just not quite large enough to have three projects worth of stuff on it. Okay, let's move these. I don't need these. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So here's the um, stamp. So I did stamp the single, um, the outline stamps. I just didn't use the second part for the inside. So I stamped it with Versamark and I embossed it with white embossing powder. And then I'm going to come in with my blending brushes, which are over here. And I'm going to color them in using the brushes. So I've got peach pie, melon mambo, and petal pink as my colors. So I'm going to start with the lightest, which is the petal pink. And that, oops. I probably should have <laughs> gotten some of that off first, but that's okay. Let's try and make them all the same. I'm going over it with darker anyway, so I'm not too worried since this is my light one. Okay, so we've got Puddle Pink. This is speed coloring. <laughs> then I'm going to do some Peach Pie. I, I want to make that as light as possible because I just want to come in and add a bit of orange to it. And again, I'm always starting in the center and bringing because I want the color to be light on the outside and I'm going to hide kind of the majority of the color in the middle with the Melon Mambo because it's quite dark. what I love about the glass mat. You can kind of 
work work your color out <laughs> on there and then come in now this looks really blotchy right but if you come in with a cloth or tissue whatever you want and wipe it then you've got it takes that color off the white embossing powder and it looks much <laughs> much better not so um blotchy looking I guess is the word I'm looking for so I'm going to move those three so I've got my flowers and then I'm going to wipe that off there so it doesn't fit on everything else And then for the leaves that I want to put around, I didn't end up using the leaves from the bundle. I used these um, Monstera leaves, which the stamp set I don't think is, I don't know if it's not available or if it's not around anymore, but I did notice that the punch for it is still available. So if you're wanting a leaf, um, you could always punch the leaf and do the same thing where you, um, blender brush it. I also used, so this is where I pulled out a bunch of my options here. So I had this one, this one's not too old. It's the Tropical Thinlets Dyes. So I'm using the leaf out of this one. And then this is the tropical leaf that's here. I also, so this is the set Tropical Chic that goes with these dies. So if you have this set, you could pull out even this leaf and die cut it or fussy cut it if you don't have the dies. There's also the artfully layered um, set that has lots of leaves, but I found they might be just a wee bit too large. This one would probably work and this one, but these just seemed a little bit big for the flowers. So. I mean, there are options if you're looking for other options or you can just use the leaves that it comes with. But for some reason in my head, I had the big Monstera leaves with these flowers. So anyways, um, I stamped and cut those out. So here's the leaves that I pre-cut. And I, so I cut these out of white and blender brushed them. And these ones I stamped off with Granny Apple Green. And then I stamped full strength with the, the stamen. I don't know if this is called the stamen also. The, the insides of the leaves. How about that? We'll get real technical. Um, and then I've pre-cut my flowers. So I don't have to do that, but, or maybe, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to run this through the big, the, the big boss. So you can see the wow factor of the embossing folder. So if we get our machine out here, whoop. what you want to do, now I got to find where I put the folder here so I'm gonna flip it over so my pieces don't move and I'm gonna kind of line it up where I think it belongs but I'm gonna I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this it's see-through so you can see where the outline is and I'm just gonna wiggle it until my outline looks good which I'm happy there and I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna take all these pieces off because those are for cutting. And I'm gonna use my 3D embossing plate. Okay. And then 
we get to have the fun reveal. So it comes out, I don't know if you can see that, but it's all embossed and colored all in one. Just always super pretty. I love these hybrid embossing folders. But like I said, I wish they would do like the whole folder. Like why not cut everything out? Anyways. Three is better than none. So we've got flowers, we've got leaves. Then I cut out a piece. This is retired. Um, it was the split card textures dies and it's this one but you could use either or and then i've just got a piece of white thick white base and i'm gonna score it because the thick white does not like to bend super easily And then, where's my bone folder here? What I did was I popped this up. You could glue this straight down, but I thought to really see this, it's nice to be popped up. And I just happened, I don't know if you remember from when I did the um, kit video two weeks ago maybe? Um, the one kit came with these nice long, um, but we do have strips also. So anyways, I stole these out of the kit because I thought it would be perfect. Now, the other thing you could do is you could put a piece of acetate on here, then put these on and you could turn it into a beautiful shaker card. Like it would shake in behind there, which I might do. So I'm not going to keep putting this on because I might try and um, do that. I'm just going to show you um, all the pieces and parts and I'll show you the finished. Actually, I'll just show you the finished card since we're already over an hour. <laughs> um, I ended up using a circle from another die, which I found was a bit big. And then I realized that there was this circle die in the die set, which would fit so much better here. So, and it fits the thanks for being so kind. I will show you. And I just thought, how perfect is that? I didn't realize, I hadn't looked at all the, I was just kinda, I don't know what I was doing. Not paying enough attention is what I was doing. So that fits perfectly in that circle. So you can see this circle was a little bit large, um, but this circle was made, whoops, was made for it. So anyways, here's my tropical thinking of Hawaii card. <laughs> so yeah, I'll make, I didn't put as much orange in this. I actually quite like, what do you think, the orangey? Or the pinky? Should I make more orangey ones? I like them. Actually, maybe together they would pop more if I kind of alternated. Anyways, we'll see. We'll put it together. But, so, the three cards. And now you've seen all the online exclusives that I have to show. Here's the three cards. The Otterly Adorable, the ha hibiscus, uh, <laughs> Happy Hibiscus, I'm going to have to learn these names, and the Umbrella Days. So hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully it helped you to see how they all work and what's included in them. And that way when they're available, you can get the ones that you think you would like the most, if any. All right, hopefully you enjoyed it. We will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.